Well, hello, I'm Sinek. Oops, it's playing by itself again. There we go, okay. I'm Sinek. Um, I joined Bitfire, which is the company behind DevX5, uh, this year in January, and I have the pleasure to talk about what's new and what's planned. All right, yeah, so everybody can hear me. <laughs> um, with our Android app. All right, so let's get started. What is DevX5 again? For those of you who don't know, we talked to some people, we already realized that many people actually are using it already, which is great, but uh, it's your sync solution for any contacts, calendars, tasks, notes and journals um, from your Android device to um, the Nextcloud, for instance, or any other server, but of course everybody uses Nextcloud here. Um, and it's, yeah, as I said, the perfect addition to your Nextcloud server, and you can access your web dev and cloud files with those as well, which is a major improvement, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. So, some numbers. At the moment, there's about 300,000 uh, concurrent daily users. Um, half and half Play Store, F-Droid, but F-Droid takes the lead, like, yeah. <laughs> and um, we have more than 50 business clients with a managed version of uh, DevX5. Should, should you be interested in that, come talk to us afterwards, and we manage something. Um, yeah, new features, the, def, uh, the web dev access, which I mentioned already. Um, you get the live access, um, we implemented it with a storage access framework from Android, and as such, you will need a compatible files app or any other app if you want to edit it. With this, you, it will be possible to um, edit some text files as if they were stored natively, but they are on your server. Um, yeah, and you can also stream videos of any size. Like, that's very useful in your home network. If you've got some movies on your NAS, it's quite nice. Needs a good connection, but in your home network, that's usually the case. And the next one is notes and journal sync. So the vJournal standard um, and uh, th yeah, the notes, which um, worked, uh, yeah, we worked in co collaboration with the JT export developer, Patrick, who is with us as well. In 20 minutes, he'll give a rough uh, talk about um, the JT export, which is a new app, and uh, he's gonna give you all the details about that, but we are uh, already able to sync all those notes and journals which you create with that app. Um, yeah, and then the next one isn't so much a feature and is planned for the future. We want to switch away from the work manager, uh, no wait, from this Android Sync framework and we want to use the work manager because the Android Sync framework really is a, <laughs> it's a pain to deal with at the moment. It doesn't sync reliably. Um, and well, we get frustrated users, frustrated, um, yeah, ourselves and the work manager hopefully will <laughs> Uh, make, um, allow for much more control and also make this a, a, a thing of the past. All right. And the next one is data migration tool. So we're often asked from people which you do use, um, still use Google, like how they can actually move away from it more easily. And it's not yet implemented, what we hope to get around that, uh, like with the work manager in the upcoming year, this one may be early beta in December. Um, so we'll make it much easier for people to actually do the jump from uh, Google to Nextcloud, and uh, this tool could be a, like will hopefully provide a lot of help with that. Yes. Um, okay. So we have a stand which was standing over here. Now it's downstairs. If you want to come over and uh, like have a chat, grab some stickers, or uh, get a free freedom drink, um, we're happy to do that. Uh, Otherwise, get in touch, like on GitHub discussions or follow us on Twitter for the news. And we're open for any contributions and ideas. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Sunik. Thank you so much. So